Hello, this is David. I'm going to show you how I do the Zygoma project. So this is through 3D Slicer with the data loaded. So this is the CT. I'm going to go to Segment Editor. I'm going to add three segments. I'm going to call them Skull. Double click on the name, write Zygoma. Left Zygoma. Okay. Go to the, I'm gonna make this bigger by hitting this box. For the skull, I go to the thresholding, which is this button, switch it to 120, apply. Okay. This will make the bones green, but there's some dots. So I'm gonna go to the islands. This one, the islands, keep the largest island and apply you will lose the islands there. Okay. You can show it in 3D. So hit this button to show it in 3D. You might have to wait a little bit and also you have to center it. Center it here. This makes it bigger so you can see the volume. Make sure there's no extra soft tissue around. All right, so let's now go to the right side goma and let's make the right side goma uh, yellow. So I'm going to turn off the eye so that I can see the bone. I'm going to right click and drag to magnify, shift and left click and move it around. And so here's a suture right here for the zygomatic frontal bone, zygomatic or frontal bone or frontal zygomatic bone. We need to put a uh, marker there. So I'm going to go to right zygoma. I'm going to edit only in the skull. Okay, this is important. So this part, you select the color of your pin. This part, you select what you're coloring. So color only the skull. Here's the pin. I'm going to select a spherical brush, 3%, edit in 3D. So I go to the suture and then I go down a little bit and then I put the yellow. Okay, it takes a little bit of time. On, there we go. Okay, so that's the top suture. Let's go down to, here's the zygomatic arch. Okay, so here we have the zygoma on this side, maxilla on this side, so let's color it on this side. So. Let's color it here. You can put one circle or you can draw a line right there, it's fine. All right, so that's that. That's the zygomedical maxillary. Then we add one more. Let's find this is the inferior orbital nerve, infraorbital nerve canal. This is where V2 is. So just put a uh, yellow sphere or marker just lateral to that. Okay, now this is where the other suture is. This is going to be the uh, zygomatico temporal. We can put a marker there. We're probably going to lose this marker, so that's just to tell you where it is. It's maybe it's right there. It's close to the level of the coronoid process of the mandible. Okay. All right, so let's go back and look everything at everything in 3D. Let's center it. Show 3D. You can use this arrow so you can move the skull around. So I did paint a little bit, so they're just not always all circles, but this is where the edges are, okay? So you should turn the skull. So this is part of the inferior orbital fissure. This is gonna be part of the, uh, the joint, the suture between the zygoma and the sphenoid. So go ahead and turn your skull like this. 
Now we're going to take some scissors. We're going to choose yellow for the right side gombo. We're going to fill inside and we're going to fill inside the skull. So this is your paint brush. This is what you're painting and you're going to fill inside. But that's using the scissors. So let's cut this horizontally here. Let's cut this down here. Let's cut it here and there. Give it some time. All right. Let's go back to point to the pointer. I just want to show you that this is the infraorbital nerve canal that is in the maxilla. So do not paint that. So the zygoma usually starts uh, right above it and it goes out to the side. All right, so let's go and turn this around here. So this has gone too far to the back because the suture is somewhere around the coronoid process. And also, if you look here, this is yellow also. That's not normal. Okay, so that, that does not belong. Let's look underneath. It's all yellow here. So this is good. This should be yellow here. Under surface should be yellow, but this is not yellow. Okay. Here you can, if you move it around enough, you can see the suture. This is probably the suture right here. Okay, so now we're going to paint this green. So when you want to paint something green, you select, let's use the scissors. I'm going to pick green as my paint color, fill inside, but I'm going to fill now the right zygote mode. So that's my target. This is my pin. All right, so I think it's going to be something like this. Let's make that green. Okay. Let's go back to the pointer. Let's look from above. This should not be yellow. That should be green. Okay. So I'm going to take the scissors, fill inside, fill at the right zygoma, because this yellow thing, it thinks that's the zygoma. So we're going to now go around. Actually, I'm going to just go around here a little bit. There we go. Give it some time, and that turns green. All right. Let's go back to the arrow. Let's look around. So always look here. This is where it might turn yellow, but you have to turn it back to green. And then this looks pretty good. Okay. All right. Let's center it again. So if you go up here and you hit A, it'll show you the frontal view. Okay. All right, so now let's go to the left side goma. All right, so to do the left side goma, we're going to do the same thing. Turn off the color so we can see the bone. We're going to select the left side goma, which is brown. Select the pen. Make it a spear. We're going to paint inside the skull. And now let's find our sutures. Sometimes there's a fracture, so you're going to see the fractures more easily. Right, you're going to see the sutures more easily. So here is the left frontal zygomatic suture right here. All these little lines here. Let's choose where all the lines are and put a little brown sphere right there. OK. Let's go back to the very bottom. OK, so the zygoma is on this side. So you can put the color like that. OK. Now, when these fractures occur, sometimes the fractures will occur right at the suture. Sometimes it will not. I think that's probably the suture. Sometimes a fracture occurs right posterior to the uh, zygomatic temporal. Suture. Okay, so, and then our last one, sorry, we have to find the inferior orbital nerve canal, which is right here. And then we can just put something right there. All right, so now let's go back to 3D. Let's turn on all the colors. Let's hit the arrow, make it bigger. Let's turn it. 
Okay, so now we turn this away from us. Okay, so here's where the suture is, and it goes into the infraorbital suture, uh, infraorbital fissure. That's the infraorbital fissure. Okay, so now we have turned this. Let's go back and do scissors. Left zygoma, fill inside. We're going to fill over the skull. Okay, so this. All right, turns it around. Now, suppose you did something wrong and you want to undo it, you use this arrow to undo it. So if you hit that, it turns back to normal. If you say, oh, actually, I did it right before it does it again. And this, I think maybe I could have gone a little bit further. So I'm going to do this again like this. And, and we're going to make this a little bit more like that, more like a straight line. All right, so I go back to the pointer. Then I can turn this thing. OK, so that looks good. So the coronoid process of the mandible is not brown. This one is a little bit too far back. Okay. Now you can. I have a better look by going to the sagittal view, going to the brown area, and then you can turn off the colors to try to find the suture. I actually think the suture's right here. It's going to be hard to say, tell. Sometimes some patients just have a very hard area. You can't really tell where the suture is. So I am going to Try to look at this in 3D. Sometimes you just have to guess as to where the suture is. Sometimes it helps by looking at the different shadows. Okay. So I think that the suture is probably right here, actually. I can't be 100% sure, but I think it's there. So because I want to make this area green, I'm going to select green, scissors, fill inside, I'm going to color on top of the left leg over. All right, so let's go back to this. All right, so. Uh, I think that's probably good enough. I just wonder about this area here, whether it should go out like this. So I'm just going to go back and I color inside the skull. Fill that in a little bit more. All right, right, and then let's turn this thing, see if I accidentally colored anything too much in the back. Yes. So here you can see I colored the coronary process here, right here. So I'm going to now color that green, select green, scissors, fill inside, and I'm going to color on top of the left zygoma. That should turn green. Yes, it did. OK, so now I'm going to go back to my arrow. I can move this around. Look at the top. Look at the bottom. Let's, so. Make sure it's colored on the top and the bottom. And top and bottom. OK, so to make it straight, hit anterior. Here, if you do right, left, inferior. OK. So that is all it is. You can take away the two zygomas, make sure that 
all the bone really does disappear, that you didn't accidentally color something that you uh, did not mean to color. And then you can even turn on these, make sure that there's no other weird bones that are colored anywhere else. Okay, and then you go to save. So the best way is to save these three locally, but the thing that we need is this segmentation. Okay. So if you segment out this, you can, uh, this is what we need to have sent, but you can, you should save these three locally so that you can go back and change it if you need to, if there's some edits. Okay. And that's it.